road. <laughs> Dude, no freaking way. Alrighty guys, so that was a little bit of chaos because he died right in that puddle there. So he was getting us soaked. He's got a rope on him. We are uh, gonna get him dried off and get some cool uh, shots, of course. He's got some nice spurs too. But I wanna take a quick minute to show you what our setup looked like from where I shot him. We were right behind there and we've been brushing it in all morning. Zach was behind me, I was out in front. We should have the GoPro still rolling. The hen walked through like probably 10 yards, maybe. And she got a little uneasy, but I think it was just brushed in well enough. Yeah, it, I mean, dude, that's hard to see. Okay guys, here's a look at that big old Tom. I think this is my biggest one to date. We have not officially measured him or anything. Um, I'm guessing he's probably touching 11 inches on the beard, maybe 10 and a half. And I think he's over an inch with the spurs. He's got some pretty good hooks on him too. Um, big bird, definitely heavy and older. Um, so I'm super stoked. Um, this morning, early on, we actually went to a different piece, hunted that with no luck. We went over to my grandparents' house because I knew this big guy was in there. Um, but it was a little bit unique because he didn't roost on the property. He roosted like two neighbors over. And then throughout the day, random times, he would come over and like pick away and just walk over my grandpa's property. Pretty much went exactly how we had it planned. He uh, came in with a hen. I think it was at like 10, 10 maybe, right after 10 o'clock. We got in there at like 8.45. Zach was behind me. I was up front. And so the Tom's out in front of me and this hen is wrapping around to the right. So we're trying to not get caught from the side where we're a little bit less brushed in and we're watching this Tom come in and he's, he's a ways off. He's probably 40 yards behind her. So that hen clears the corner and then it was pretty much game on. I had to like move my gun a little bit, slide over to the right, get it around a stick that I'd brushed in. And then uh, he took a step out and I took my first clear shot that I had at him and he went right down. So it was an awesome hunt. Um, this is probably my biggest bird to date. We'll, find that out here in a second but we're taking some pictures and uh, soaking it all in so. guys just got the beard off we're gonna get a quick measurement on this I'm guessing right around 10 to 11 so we got it right there hard cuz it's curling a little bit so some of the strands at 11 most of them are going to 10 and a half or 10 and three quarters so really solid paintbrush there just got the beard off and we are working on the fan now and uh, yeah then spurs are next look at that that's pretty good actually, <laughs> not bad at all. All right, so there's a look at the uh, spur measurement. This one is right at one inch on the dot. Zach's getting the other one off right now. We'll measure that other one. I'm sure they're probably the same. And there is a look at the other one. Both of them basically right at, oh, that one actually is a little more. Maybe one and 16th, maybe. But pretty much right at one inches for both these spurs, let me focus it. So pretty much one inch, maybe a touch more for both of these spurs. Pretty awesome. All right guys, we got this thing laid out and prepping now, this will probably take a week or two before it's ready to be taken to the next step, but we got some saw and borax on that. Same with those guys up there, gonna let them lay and got that pinned out so that it doesn't slide back up. So, should be pretty sweet. 